Nicole Scott got here for Netbook News and here we have the HTC Mozart. This is a Windows 7 phone. As you can see, you can customize the uh, home screen with any photo that you want. I took this photo in Bali. Uh, if you look at it, it has the date, time, uh, and it even pops up uh, what's on your calendar for tomorrow. I've got a couple messages. I think this is quite cute. There's a little winky face and it says two. If we click on that, we can see my messages. If we head back, and go through people. Now this pulls up all of my Facebook friends, my entire my entire Rolodex. This is very similar to Android where you actually would have to physically search for names before you can actually find them because there's just too many people in your Facebook. This gives me an update of myself uh, and what's going on with my Facebook account. I can see uh, if anybody's commented or what they're saying. I can, you know, so I can kind of do that. So that's quite nice. The Facebook integration on this is very very good. Uh, we can get into the camera. The camera is really quite great. It is a 8 megapixel uh, camera. It takes fantastic photos. I will throw up a couple from my trip to Bali here. Actually, or why don't I just scroll down to uh, pictures. This tile actually changes uh, depending on what types of photos I've taken. This is a photo of Singapore. So we just go to all. We can go to camera roll. Uh, why don't we skip past my... <laughs> some of those photos. So let's uh, take a look at some photos of the beach here. So you can see the camera quality is really quite good. There's sunset in Bali. Sun's still setting. It's quite nice. Now there are um, a couple limitations. So let's say I have this photo. I can upload to SkyDrive, I can add to my favorites, delete, use as wallpaper. Uh, let's go to Share. The one thing that you'll notice that's missing from Share is Twitter. So this sucks. This actually does suck. Um, but I can upload to Google Mail, Evernote, Facebook, SkyDrive. Now, if we head back, let's see if I've got a video anywhere in here. Alright. So I took a video somewhere. Now the only option I get is to delete. I can't upload this to Facebook, I can't upload this to Twitter, I can't email this to myself, I can only delete. So that's definitely something that Windows does need to work on. So if we hit the home screen again, you can see I've got Internet Explorer. Now the one problem with uh, Internet Explorer is you can't get any other browsers. Uh, here's Tweaktown's website, but let's say pull up one of these other great ones. Uh, let's see, Google. I guess I don't, I don't do much searching. Um, so I actually have run into issues um, surfing the web here uh, where it's told me to update my browser. Um, that sucks blatantly because I have no options for updating. Um, and, you know, mobile version. And so this means that I can't have Firefox or Chrome or any other or Opera or any other browsers out there. Um, it does come with a couple of cool widgets. I mean, we do have the calendar app, so my G, my Gmail stuff is actually synced um, with this calendar. But the other problem, the biggest problem, I'd say, is the lack of Google Maps support. The best map that I found so far uh, is Bingle, <laughs> which is hilarious because that's a cross between Bing and Google. It's absolutely ridiculous. But let's say uh, I'm looking for a bar on tap. So it'll actually pull up the location. With the other, with say the Bing Maps or any of the other maps that I've uh, had here on this Windows Phone 7, uh, I can't actually type in names of bars or restaurants and have them show up. So there, it shows me the, uh, the address, edit, I can get to or from, or I can put a pin in on the map. So this is great. Um, it's not Google Maps, but it's a pretty it's a pretty good second. I mean, actually, I just I would really like Google Maps to be dead honest. They need to allow Google Maps on this. I mean, I live in Taiwan, and not having full functionality of a really good mapping system is actually really limiting t for me getting around town sometimes. Uh, so and also latitudes. I use latitudes with my friends. Um, the ones that come in from town so they can see where I am and I don't have that option anymore. Or if, say, you don't exactly know where you are, um, 
then you can just turn on latitudes and have someone find you because, I mean, addresses in a foreign country can be quite tough. So that's my little rant on what they honestly need to fix. Uh, you can see here, I do have Foursquare, finally. Uh, for a long time, I didn't have the Foursquare application on my, on my phone, which did suck. Um, so you can see now, I do have Foursquare, which is quite nice. Oh, 16 friend requests, better get on that. So I think the best part of this, uh, of this operating system is the mail. So I have my, my Gmail integrated with it. You can see the display is really nice. The white's very white. Um, the email is very clean. I really like the way that this looks. I really like the way that, that this interacts. Um, I actually have my phone beside my computer during the day, and I will answer emails on my phone versus answering them on my computer sometimes, so that's just uh, a little token to how incredibly good this uh, email app actually is. So you can actually add multiple accounts to it as well. You have the options for folders uh, to create them directly on your phone. So this is really great. Now let's just take a look at um, how we can switch things around. So if you hold it, I can actually change things around and say put the camera down here. Let's pin that there. Oh, actually I removed it. Whoops. All right, let's get that back. So camera, pin to start. Let's see what's coming up here. Let's move that back up. So it's not that intuitive for moving things around. There we go. So that's quite nice. So we can move around. This is like a nice tile mosaic that can be everything can be switched. We can even decide to put uh, individuals on our on our screen in case like a like a speed dial. So the big question of the day is apps. Um, I found myself kind of wishing for a couple of apps. It's nice that they had Evernote because that, that's across most of my systems. Uh, Foursquare, I finally got that. Um, now, but this was the funny part. I've been using this one for say about a month. And to me, it, it absolutely killed me that I couldn't have Google Maps, I couldn't have Foursquare, I couldn't have Instagram, I couldn't have anything, but I could have... I could have the Rebecca Black app. So, I mean... That was actually a little bit of a, a joke that... Well, it's obviously a joke. I mean, I couldn't get a lot of what I consider core applications, and I could get the Rebecca Black app. But you can hear um, the speaker on this is actually pretty decent. So that's Rebecca Black. Um, you have to pay to watch her videos now. Uh, apparently, there's 20,000 apps in here. There's Gadget News, which is actually a they still end Gadget's feed. I mean, it looks almost identical. So this is kind of just an indication of what types of apps you can get. Uh, if say you look at G Maps, this is really terrible. Um, there's a lot of applications that say that they can use uh, Gmail or uh, Google, but really you can't. I mean, let's try on tap. See what happens here. Oh, did it actually pull it up? Let's see. It actually pulled it up. Okay, I'm actually I'm dead impressed because the last time, before the last update on this, it would just point to Taipei. All right, so it looks like we actually have a couple of decent alternatives. I'm well. Thanks for shooting the video, guys. But uh, yeah, so I guess there are a couple of pretty decent ones. This one would actually just pull up Taipei every time I put in an address. So this has been so that's kind, um, of, kind of my, my walkthrough of the HTC Mozart. I've been, I've been using this phone for a month. I'm starting to. I'm starting. It's starting to grow on me uh, now that I'm able to get a couple of the apps that I've been um, kind of craving. Oh, the one thing that doesn't work. Uh, none of the Twitter apps, none of them, zero. Not Twitter, not MoTweet, not Seismic, uh, none of them actually upload pictures from my phone. So that really sucks. So no pictures are able to be uploaded to Twitter from this, uh, from this phone. I've tried every single one of the apps and it hasn't been able to work. So that's also really annoying, especially because I use my phone at conferences uh, to show you guys what's up and what's cool. So if I can't do that, then well, you guys won't follow me on Twitter. So hopefully in the next um, update, we'll be able to see um, some definite improvements to some of the applications. Um, but we do have some cool apps. I mean, Epicurious is in here. I have a bunch of uh, Canadian newspapers, which is kind of random. So 
it's nice for me to reconnect with my uh, Canadian Canadian roots and maybe read Canadian Living or uh, I think there's the Globe and Mail is also in here somewhere. Well, anyways, yeah, I I'm pretty sure I had the Globe yeah, Some of the, the things that I think uh, that this phone is, is definitely missing is that it doesn't have an SD card. Uh, so that me or a micro SD card, so we are limited to eight, eight gigabytes of uh, memory, which does suck. Um, but otherwise, I mean, the form factor is absolutely great. I mean, here's the physical button for taking the photo. Um, down here on the bottom, there's your microphones. Around the side, there's our micro USB. Uh, here's the volume rocker, which I actually find is a little far back. You see how it's kind of placed. Um, towards the back rather than center and I often try to grab my phone to turn the volume down and I'm hitting on the side, the top here rather than hitting on the, the volume. I guess that would stop me from accidentally hitting it when I'm rubbing in, uh, rubbing in my pocket but it, it makes it actually quite hard to find if I want to um, say quickly turn my ringer to vibrate or back to ring. Another one of the things that uh, many people didn't think that they'd, they'd like, you have your status bar so here, it's actually hidden. Am I, am I completely satisfied with this phone? No, because it's just a great email phone. Um, it's a great phone for Facebook, it's a great phone for email, but the apps just aren't there yet, and the camera's fantastic. So uh, I find myself wanting more applications to do you know, cooler things. I'm not a huge, huge, huge gamer, but if you're looking for a phone that does email, um, this is a really strong really strong choice. I mean, I'm, inc I'm just really happy with how clean this is. I mean, this is a, just a really, cre really clean um, choice for a phone so, or an email program. Alright, so this has just been a quick look at uh, the HTC Mozart. Um, Nicole Scott for Netbook News taking a look at Windows Phone 7.